I would have to say uh, there are a lot of good books, a lot of uh, life directing books, I suppose, when I was a kid, but I'm going to have to say that of them all, I think the one that sticks with me and probably the best was The Wizard of Oz, L. Frank Baum. I read a lot of uh, books in the Oz series that were written after the first one, too. Every one I could get my hands on, which was most of the series in the Cambridge, Ohio Public Library where I grew up. The editions were original editions, furthermore, they weren't reprints. Uh, they looked the way they did when they rolled off the press. Whoever the original publisher was, I can't tell you that. But they were gorgeous, uh, they were oversized in my recollection, the paper thick, uh, buttery, uh, the edges uncut, which only added to the mystique of the sense that I had found something very special. What was most special about the book was the fact that it uh, took me away to this other world where nonetheless the things that happened seemed to be very much like the way things happened in the world I knew. And I didn't intellectualize those connections, but I'm sure I felt them. That was the genius of the work. It's probably what explains why Harry Potter was so effective to uh, kids who started reading 40 or 50 years after I did. But Wizard of Oz, never going to go away. I'm talking about the book, not so much the movie. I like the movie, but, uh, you know, I got to participate when I was reading the book. When you watch a movie, you're passive. When uh, you're reading a book, you're making your own movie in your mind, and boy, what a movie that was.